or staying in a number of state ahead of the governorship election. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, has ordered a restriction of vehicular movement in the state. In a statement, the IGP said the restriction is part of measures aimed at protecting the sanctity of the electoral process on Saturday. According to the statement, there would be no movement of vehicles in and out of a number of states from 11.59 p.m. on Friday, November 5, to 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, November 6. Well, now live to a number of states, we are being joined by political correspondent Marianne O'Conn. Evening to you, Marianne. Many thanks for joining us on Plus uh, News Now. Uh, thank you, Justin. All right. Can you tell us exactly uh, what's the uh, state of affairs right now in a number of states? Uh, what's the mood like? Um, just like I said earlier this evening, it's very calm. Uh, there's no pandemonium as suggested on social media. You know, the streets are calm. Uh, there's close to, almost close to no movement. And that's as a result of the fact that people are still scared um, as to the sit at home order, even though IPOB has come out to say that they've um, lifted that sit at home order, but people are still yet to get some clarity from government and security operatives. So people are sitting tight in their homes, shops are closed, um, very scanty um, businesses are open. You, you hardly see any any big stores or sh shops or supermarkets open. Everybody's just keeping it low. All right, from what we uh, learned today, uh, the governorship candidate um, signed um, a peace accord to ensure that uh, the elections would run smoothly uh, come Saturday. Can you tell us more about that? Well, early, earlier today there was a peace accord that was um, um, agreed to and signed by um, all the governorship candidates. On the uh, and and this was overseen by the former head of state, Italian General um, Abu Salam Abubakar. Also in attendance was um, Bishop Matthew Kuka. Um, this is something that we see every time elections, uh, especially in states, are to be held. And most of these candidates pledge that um, there will not be violence. But in the case of Anambra, we we've known of pockets of violence here and there. One would only hope that. Everybody would adhere to the peace pact and um, continuously call for peace and calm during the, the polls come Saturday. All right, let's talk about the electoral umpire. Now, that's the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC. So far, what can you tell us as regards some preparations, uh, you know, vis a vis sensitive and non sensitive materials? So, I did speak a few minutes ago with the um, Voter Education uh, Commission, um, Commission Director, I beg your pardon, Mr. Fessler Zokoy, and he did say that sensitive materials had been dispatched uh, from the CBN to all the local government areas in a number of states as we speak. And um, so all of those materials are going to be ready uh, as of Saturday morning, so there will not be a case where people will say they're still waiting for materials to arrive. All right, what can you tell us so far concerning security? Well, um, what we have seen since we got to Oka is a show of force of sorts. Uh, we've seen policemen, we've seen soldiers patrolling continuously uh, the streets of Oka. Uh, when they're making sure, obviously, that there is peace and calm. Although uh, the people that we spoke to on the streets seem to see this as, um, you know, a case for which they would rather stay at home because they feel that they are. Um, you know, in a, a case of a war, but there are mixed reactions to be asked. There are people who feel safer uh, as they have security operatives patrolling the street, and there are also people who are scared of the fact that these security operatives might, one way or the other, uh, cause voter apathy. All right, uh, so uh, before we let you go, uh, Marianne, uh, so far from the uh, opinions uh, that you have sampled from the electorate uh, today, would you really see a situation uh, where you know, people would come out uh, that IPOB has actually rescinded its um, stay at home, uh, seat at home order? Well, like I said earlier on, the, the issue is that there is no clarity from the government and security operatives. Um, I, I did interview a few people off camera and they kept saying the government has not necessarily come out to say that there is a seat at home order or there is a state of emergency. So uh, it doesn't mean that anybody's been stopped from going out. But then 
they also want to hear from the government saying to them that, well, you're all safe to come out, um, you can come and vote. All they can hear is must up saying that, well, we're going to make sure that, you know, the elect elections are safe, balance free, but they haven't really heard from government. So I think this is the issue and there's a confusion of sorts because there are mixed, mixed messages being sent out to the people. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mary, and uh, would um, talk to you subsequently uh, in other bulletins to bring us up to speed as regards the election come Saturday. Thank you very much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.